I have salutations, this is something Fawful, and welcome to the final extra video for Metroid Fusion. I'm basically, last time we collected the everything, and now we're gonna go, um, beat the last boss again just so I can show a better ending thing. As I, for a moment there, thought I was going into the wrong room. But, um, I have no idea if the final boss is harder, and I haven't fought it in quite a while, and you've seen how terrible I've been playing these last few episodes, so this might even take multiple attempts, even with my nearly double health compared to last time. I find it weird that the maximum power bombs is 74, but max missiles is 250, not 255. Anyway, obviously I'm going to take the time to grab these two squares before this fight. But it's time to fight the SAX one last time. Anyway. Let's take her on! I'm less intimidated by it than last time because I am way stronger than last time, but it could still easily kick my arse as it is just kind of jumping on me. Get away! Yeah, this thing, again. It's just, like, being so anticlimactic. This is... I'm sorry if I'm, like... It's, again, it's hard to talk over this boss because it's so... Please, well this isn't good, I'm kind of glad it let me out there. It's um, quite a tough boss, but it's actually probably almost dead actually, as it's going to own me for a moment. Okay, you have to um, remember, it's apparently its screw attack is faster than yours, which is a good thing to know when facing it. Anyway, it's not dead yet, but... It's still not dead. I thought for sure I would have had it by now. Okay, there we go. Second form, which is this big thing that I honestly don't know if it has any attacks. So I'm going to just kind of shoot it right away and get ready to shoot it again. And shoot it again. Because this thing is, like, completely harmless. I don't think I'll get hit by it. Okay, now we get to switch to missiles. Because we're onto the Corex. Can you melt, please? Thank you. Yeah, I know I'm being less, like, comedic than last time for this boss, but we faced it already, and we're, like, way stronger now, and I guess it doesn't get any stronger, because otherwise I think it would have kicked my arse. It's not like, um, I think it's in, um, zero mission I'm thinking of, where if you're at maximum strength, the final boss is harder, which would be ridiculous, oh, which looks ridiculous anyway, um, it's dead. So now we can watch it run away, and we can change the collision course of the ship. Okay, well, that went well. Um, yeah, we're gonna basically press this button. Three minutes to impact. Oh boy, we get to fight the final boss in three minutes again. Yay! Anyway, I know I'm just do I'm just doing this for like complete mistake to show it off. Um, you actually, it turns out if, if I didn't realize at that time, you can go to the recharge room on your way, like, that, you know, and recharge, but that just makes the final boss harder, because it'll take more time to, um, basically, I think you can go there, I'm not gonna try, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can go into the recharge room and recharge, but I'll just make the final boss harder, because, um, he's gonna have to re knock you down to one health, and that's gonna take time, so I'm not gonna do that, because I don't wanna fail to the, um, Omega Metroid, because it's a really easy boss. And it'd be silly to fail to it, but yeah, you're way too powerful with the full health. It makes that boss far too easy. Anyway, we're gonna go this way. Because we must, because we can. Anyway, let's actually screw attack properly this time, but screw it up anyway. And we're basically at the final boss. I Yeah, as you can see, you get lots of time to do it, so let's fight. I guess I have to go over here for it to spawn anyway. Go ahead. Ice, I'm going to spam you with ice missiles. Which do have the Super Mario Whistle graphic. Anyway, now we get to wait for the SAX to show up again and um, save our lives. Because it sees the Metroid as the greater threat. Because, um, I don't know, I guess because it's, um, that's like, it's just its instinct. And its intelligence are telling it to kill the Metroid. But only its instinct... In I don't know which was telling it to kill me, but Moore's telling it to kill the Metroid, basically. Anyway, now we are full power, so let's attempt to kill this thing again. Which I'm actually going to get hit by already, somehow. 
because I'm doing terrible. Oh well. It's a really easy boss as per usual that only does one energy tank of damage. And its attack really should do a lot more considering how dodgeable it is. And wait, can you please go back? Or don't. I really don't mind. Either way, I'm pretty sure you're dead already. Yeah, that was easy. You can see how easy that boss is, though. It's not really a threat. Inside. I got hit by it once because I was an idiot. I could have done a no damage run of the um, Omega Metroid there, which is saying something. Anyway, let's get in the ship, and we have now beaten the game 100%. Yes. So, yeah. That is um, the um, last gameplay segment of Metroid Fusion, and I'm going to actually um, leave the credits in just so I can like talk about this LP, because... It's just when I like to have something to do with that at the end, so I'm not going to really pay attention to this, but this game, to the m as I think I said in the actual credits, um, I forgot how good this game was, and I still feel that way. I, I, this game is easily one of my favorite games of all time. It's an amazing game. Once again, you should pick it up and try it if you haven't. It's an amazing game. It's the best way to start the Metroid series. I mean, you might not like the rest of the series, even if you like this game, but if you don't like this game, you're probably not going to like the rest of the Metroid series unless you like not knowing where you're supposed to go and this game guides you too much for you or something. I don't know, it does have less sequence breaking than the other games, but that's not really a problem, in my opinion. I mean, the sequence breaking rate does reward the repeat player, but this game rewards the repeat player by making them scared when they know the SAX is coming, which is amusing. But yeah, that's it's it's an amazing game. You very much based on um being fun. I don't know. Apparently it's based on the Warrior Land 4 engine I found out recently, which is kind of weird. But um some of those power ups at the end were pretty tough to get. Like the the one that those those um power bombs where you had to space jump around all the breakable blocks were the worst ones I personally think I though um some of the other ones with the speed were kinda silly. The some of them are pretty clever, like the fact that your speed carries through space jumping, I would not have thought of that. That's why um that one took me a while. But um this game is amazing. I, I might want to try it. I'm gonna try at some point, like actually like figure out a good route and do a true hundred percent run where I can get the best ending. Like I'm I'm not gonna have the best ending here for sure I'm pretty sure because that's probably sub three hours I'm slightly over four hours with my time if I'm not mistaken but um that's actually the end of this LP pretty much I am gonna talk more over the credits and then out of the other one do expect a failure montage type video but don't expect it for a long while it's not gonna be much after the Yoshi one actually but it's not gonna be soon and so I'm um, just take a look at these credits these people these people deserve credit because they created a great game. Like, of course, did I? Like, they did a good job with it, and it's they made a great game. It's just that's just what they did, and I highly recommend it to any of you who haven't played it. Again, I'm repeating myself here, but it's a, it's a great game. It's one of my favorites of all time, and it probably will remain that way for a long time to come. It's I. I'd almost go so far as to say it might be my favorite handheld game, and that's coming from someone who's clearly really likes the Mario and Luigi series, all of which are handhelds, but this very well might be my favorite handheld game. I mean, Link to the, Link to the Past is my favorite game of all time, as I've mentioned before, and I will LP that one day, just not yet. I don't think I'm good enough to LP it yet, honestly. Um, I don't know if I was good enough to LP this game yet, to be honest with you, but I didn't remember how good it was when I started. I don't know. didn't remember how awesome, how much I liked it. I might not, but I... Someone on the Lucky Layer reminded me of this game, and so I decided, you know what? I feel like playing it. And so I played it. And I had a great time, and these credits are... Uh, once again, I'm just remembering these credits aren't very long, but... Yeah, this great game. Had a great time playing it. I, I did enjoy this one more than Yoshi. Yoshi, well, a fun LP still, but, like, it was a bitch at times. No offense, but... It was just... It became a... It became the biggest pain to edit like between the um like between those extra and secret videos and it's just not as fun of a game as this but it was still a great LP but this game if you haven't played it play it seriously and this is the third LP pretty much done at this point I think I have to press the button and now we will get my ending scene which should be better than last time if it isn't I am gonna be like what the hell but it will be because 
I 100%ed the game. And if I didn't, I'll go back in and get the stuff I missed. But there we go. We now see some as... Yeah, that. <laughs> this is what you get from using Metroid games. You get some as wearing very little clothing. 417, there is a better ending than this. Which basically has her with her suit and without her suit because there's two Samuses. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this LP. And now with a slightly less, um, now that it's scrolled up to her face, it's slightly less um, terrible of a photo. But yeah, um, with that, we are done with this LP. And I don't think I can press any, oh, I can press a button. And as you can see, um, do we get anything special for that? Um, no, we don't get like a second Metroid logo or anything, but we're 100% done. We took 4 hours and 12 minutes, meaning like, I feel like this is my 100% time. So almost a quarter of the g game was, um, actually exactly a quarter of the time I spent on this game was 100%ing it. Yeah. See you all in my next LP, which in two days time, unless, yeah, two or three days time is going to be Project Pan... This was Project Pandemic. Project Nightfall. So, look forward to that. Hope you have all enjoyed this beautiful game. Goodbye.